All right, obviously uh, you got a huge knockout win there, Tony. Another first round uh, knockout collected for your resume. Do you feel like maybe yeah. that's a performance bonus worthy? Uh, that's what I was hoping for. So hopefully Dana's watching and uh, I'll try even harder if he gives me this one. Now, this next time I'll get it again. What's going on with your elbow? Just bleeding? Nothing uh, yeah. serious? I believe we had him against the cage and uh, we were working some short elbows. Didn't want to waste any of them. Okay. Uh, I think I hit his tooth. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you guys oh. can see. Kind of crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's but, not uh, totally Fred Eddish though. So that's no, okay. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. Chicks take the blood. <laughs> I'm just kidding. My wife will probably enjoy it. Just make sure that my face is all right. Came out unharmed. Uh, we're ready for the next one. I'll be back in the practice room on Tuesday. Mark my words. Uh, How about the first couple minutes? It seemed like he, he, he had a little bit of success maybe in the first minute or so. You know what? I was nervous a little bit. I'll be honest with you guys. You know, he was a big name and everything. I was nervous when I signed the belt because, you know, he was just an international fighter. But it's a fight. You're going to have a little bit of nerves. If you don't have some nerves, you're in the wrong business. And I uh, just made sure that we channeled it. And I think I probably should have him under my corner and smack me up before I go out there to wake me up. And uh, that's exactly what it took. I uh, just went in there and it was kind of like a video game when you hit them like with a jab you see the little energy bar just go a little bit and I saw that his energy level would go a little bit by little and I saw him I was like don't rush it just wait be patient and I tried to go for an Imanari roll and I tried to go for a rolling arm bar and I tried to do a two touch you know the flying head kick I wanted to make sure that I put you guys out there so you know that I'm not you know stick in the mud I want to be original I want to leave my mark here for hundreds of years after this so hopefully that is enough so it's like you're a fifth, fifth UFC win now what do you feel about your place in the division I'm going to keep climbing up that ladder. I'm an ultimate fighter winner, season 13. Uh, that's been a blessing, but I'm here to stay. You know, you hear Bird all the time saying, it's hard to get here, but it's harder to stay here. You know, this is my job to take this very serious. This is my profession. I've always wanted to be here. This is a dream come true, but the dream is going to be there when I have that belt wrapped around my waist. I won't stop until I get it. Can you talk, can you talk us through the, that last combo that, that knocked him out? Oh, the uh, last combo. I believe I slipped a punch and I kind of went in there. You know, when, he, when I throw my punches, I know he's a counter fighter. So I'm a counter fighter as well. So when you throw two of those together, it's kind of an awkward fight and it's a boring fight. So I had to take a chance and I have to go after him, which is something that I'm not used to all the time. Uh, it worked out and I'm happy. What did you think about his very unorthodox stance? It's not one that we often see in MMA. Does that, uh, it was kind of crazy, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like when you see one of those, like the snake charmers. Right. And I wanted to not fall into it because it was really easy to get like into that set rhythm. Because me, I'm a fighter out of rhythm. And when I saw that he wasn't kind of going my way, I wanted to make sure that I kept my own beat in my head. Which you hear my music versus his music. Mine, the party's just begun, and I had a little breakdance beat. So when I kept that in my head, remembered it, then I started moving and my punches started flowing a little bit easier. How's it feel to be the first one to ever knock him out? Was that the first one to knock him out? Yep. It can be more where that came from. Uh, thank you, Katsunori Kakuno. Been an awesome opponent. I have nothing bad to say about him, no animosity. Um, I had a really good compliment that said, uh, you know, thank you for not going down and finishing him like that. I'm not here to put anybody to hurt, you know, or break any bones, but I'm here to win. You know, I'm here to win with the vengeance and, uh, you know, came out victorious, so hopefully we get that performance of the night. Kukui, eh, aunque sea un poquito de espacio, pero platícanos en español para los latinos. Okay. ¿Cómo te sentiste en esta pelea? Me siento mucho mejor ahora. Uh, I want to give my wife, yo necesito abrazo a mi esposa. Uh, porque es muy importante, ella es mi, my pillar for this whole entire fight. Um, I feel really good for this fight. Um, me siento, me siento uh, mejor ahora, you know. It's a dream come true to be able to fight in este division. Um, es, pa, es, es un sueño de yo para pelear con mi raza y por las personas de mexicanos también. Mm -hmm. uh, sígame, sígame <coughs> toda la, mi vida para la pelear de UFC, por favor. Es muy importante para yo. Y mi familia también. Cucuy, ¿nos puedes platicar sobre el knockout, por favor? ¿Qué? Eso, ¿Nos puedes platicar sobre el knockout? ¿Qué? 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 Oh, sí, sí, sí. Uh, yo tengo un golpe para mi uh, ojo, de mi a la izquierda. Y I recognize, reconocer, es más importante para mover la cabeza. Y durante el pelear, uh, es una pelea de más golpes. I wanted to stand in the pocket and mm -hmm. throw a tempero, me recuerdo, a movimiento de la cabeza. Y cuando me moví, I finished. Me terminado. ¿Qué sigue para ti? ¿Cómo, cómo te sientes? ¿A dónde crees que puedes llegar este, en la división en las próximas peleas? Sí, es mi, es, mi smart, es mi vida, es mi parte. En esta división es mi tiempo, es mi tiempo. Es, es muy importante para yo, para, yo necesito ir al gimnasio para practicar muy rápido porque en la pelea es muy fresco en mi cabeza. En los movimientos en este pelea es tan, very strong fighter. En el próximo, Everything's going to get muy, muy, muy uh, hard, very hard. Nos, Difícil. Nos puedes decir entonces que... <laughs> the easiest words are the hardest ones. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, bueno. Ahí lo Nos puedes decir entonces que se les va a aparecer el cucuy. Oh, sí. you know, el cucuy se les va a aparecer. You know, el cucuy is something that scares everybody. When, you, when you're a kid, the, your mom said, hey, el cucuy se te va a aparecer. Mm -hmm. Sí. You know, you, know, you know what that means, right? Cucuy. Sí, cuando yo era pequeño, mi, uh, mi tío, <laughs> he locked yeah. me in the garage. Se dice, el cucuy is going to get you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And ahora, yo soy el cucuy. <laughs> Something you mentioned out there when you were answering in Spanish was that you want to get back into the gym and really push harder. What do you feel like you need to do to get, I guess, more uh, experience under your belt and to get back in there and come back even more brutal? It's muy importante para yo para to continuar el ritmo. Yeah. It's muy importante para yo también para practicar y no para recuerdo, recuerdo mm -hmm. los movimientos nuevos, originales. Y ahora it's, it's muy fresco en mi cabeza. Like I said, it's yeah. very fresh in my head. I want to keep it going. After I got out of the Ultimate Fighter house, I was limping and I had tons of hurt all over me. But I went back to the room and I made sure that I used all the movements in my head that way that I could remember them and use them in the next fight. Cucuy, ¿se viene UFC México? ¿Te gustaría estar presente ahí? Gracias. Okay. Uh, para México, I, I would love to. Me gustaría pelear en México. En la carta de UFC. Caín. Yeah. 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 180, ¿sí? Yeah. Sí. Sí, me voy a pelear, ojalá. So, Dana White, me voy. <laughs> Cucuy, uh, sí, hablando, sí. hablando de esto, este... ¿Qué le puedes aconsejar a todos los prospectos mexicanos que van a estar eh, eh, compitiendo en, en Tough Latinoamérica? Es muy importante. Son ocho mexicanos que van a estar con Caim Velasquez. Sí, es muy importante para los latinos para pelear. Es muy importante porque los otros peleadores en Brasil, hay otros peleadores en Canadá, Australia, uh, de todo el mundo. Es muy importante para yo también para practicar con los otros peleadores en el Ultimate Fighter. Ojalá un día nos vemos a practicar con los otros latinos. I would love to see a campeón para los Ultimate Fighter. I know Verdum and Cain Velasquez are come out of there. Regardless of who wins, it's very important that this is going to be very important. So make sure you guys siga los otros peleadores en Ultimate Fighter latino. Could you do your UFC Mexico answer in English? I know what you were saying, but like, I think some people yeah, would like to know about that. like you wanted to fight in the Mexico City card, right? That yeah, I wanted better. to fight in the Mexico City card. Um, everybody asked me before this interview and before the fight if I wanted to fight over there. You can see a bunch of stuff flying. <laughs> uh, it's very important for me to fight out there. I had a seminar that I taught at MMA Brothers in Irapuato, and uh, that was my first time in Mexico. And uh, before then, I've been to Cancun, but that was more of a vacation. And uh, it was just beautiful out there. Uh, I grew up in Michigan, and I didn't have that much time to grow up in my roots. And when I moved back to California towards my extended family, it was an awesome experience. And when I went to Mexico, I remember Victor Davila. I had my sunglasses on, and he told me to take them off. He's like, soak it up, enjoy this. He's like, this is where you're home. And I, and I loved it. And I just, I wish to go back. And for November, on a UFC 180, I would love to be there to fight and uh, win like I did tonight. Uh, you can maybe speak more to this. Um, as far as like the Mexican fans and the culture, you know, obviously MMA is new. Uh, has there been any trouble, I guess, explaining MMA to you know traditional Mexican boxing fans? No, but it's easy for me because I grew up to have an appreciation for boxing. Um, my parents didn't want me to fight, you know, boxing or karate, you know, anything like that. I kept into interscholastic sports, football, wrestling, and baseball, uh, and I've been playing it since I was about four or five. Uh, I had a speed bag when I was about 14, and it was a dream for me to be able to be a boxer or a fighter. I was pretty scrappy when I was little, you know, just being one of the only Mexicans out there in Michigan. Uh, not the only one, but I tell you what, being an athlete uh, and being small, you get picked on a little bit, but my ears are big too, and uh, as soon as I gain cauliflower, you're getting appreciation for the rough sports, you know, playing football. And I'm a rough neck, you know, we grew up on 40 acres, and I cut wood for our heat, and I did a lot of things like that and gained a great appreciation for the blue-collar worker. And uh, that's exactly what I am. I'm a very hard worker, and just I'm coming for it, man. I'm Latino, I'm Mexican, 155%, and I'm very proud of it. Last thing, uh, we had you on our show before you came out here to Vegas, and you were telling me about the memory box that you happened to find just a couple of days before your fight, and you kind of find it like a lucky charm for yourself. Do you think that uh, kind of gave you some extra inspiration for this fight? Yeah, if you can actually ask one of my trainers or all of them, uh, they kind of didn't know what it was. and. Uh, I carry it with me all the time, and once in a while I lose it, and uh, it just always comes back to me. Before I went in the Ultimate Fighter house, my mom gave it to me, and I just kind of write what I'm thinking or how I'm feeling for the fight, and I just put my little wish in there, you know, and it's just one of those little keepsakes that I have for myself, and I always keep it, and it's near and dear to my heart, and it's always going to be there, and I'm just blessed for that. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thank you, Appreciate it.